We are back and better than ever as we look forward to this weekend's matchup while showing the best the internet has to offer. Also, Spencer Lachalet is back with another episode of Athlete of the Week. Stick around to see who he sat down with. It's round two of the Sports Report. Let's get it started. Cue the intro. Welcome to the Wednesday Sports Report. My name is Derek Kopp. Alongside, alongside me is Max Hawkins. Well, Max, one game down and they didn't nail you fashion. How to make it close? That's right, man. It was a close game. One, you know, they missed the field goal at the end. Got always the win, one, though. Always one possession game. You've got to count on that with LSU. But we have quite a show planned for y'all today, so let's get right into it. This week, the LSU football team plays their second SEC opponent of the year in as many weeks as they welcome the Auburn Tigers into Death Valley. Now, technically, this is the first home game of the year, as two weeks ago, the game was canceled due to weather, which, as many people expect, will bring out the best in LSU fans. Now, take a listen as LSU head coach Les Miles and players look, look towards their first home game of the year. Looking forward to the Auburn week, a uh, 2.30 kickoff in Tiger Stadium, gold game, uh, game on CBS. I would expect that that crowd would be fired up. It's going to be crazy. Uh, the fans are going to be there. You know, it's Louisiana. They're going to support us everywhere. Should be deafening in Death Valley. We're definitely going to prepare well this week and be ready to go to Thursday Saturday. LSU is coming off their 21-19 win on the road against Mississippi State. Now, the win was the first for sophomore starting quarterback Brandon Harris, but some analysts say LSU's play calling was too conservative. When head coach Les Miles was asked why the ball wasn't thrown more, he simply read Leonard Fournette's stat line aloud. 28 carries for 159 yards and three scores. Brandon Harris addressed the media saying they were taking what the defense was giving them. We will see how the play calling goes against an Auburn defense that gave up 438 yards against an FCS opponent, Jacksonville State. It took, it took overtime for Auburn to eke out the win, but Auburn came into the game rank as, as a sixth ranked team in the country, but after the game were dropped down to 12 spots to number 18. Auburn quarterback Jeremy John Johnson has thrown five interceptions over the first two games both of which came against FCS opponents. Things definitely won't get easier. He's facing an LSU defensive back unit that, according to Athlon Sports, is the best in the country. LSU defensive back Dwayne Thomas was quoted saying, this quarterback has a great arm, but we don't know how accurate he is because we haven't seen him in person. With the tight coverage that we play, we're looking forward to him giving us a few. Now, yesterday in an Auburn press conference, safety Rudy Ford talked about playing against the LSU running attack and specifically Leonard Fournette. Take a listen. Difficult that much of a challenge. Uh, we got a great front seven, and uh, even on the back end, you know, we, we all going to be ready to tackle. Um, but our biggest thing is uh, our energy level. As soon as we get off that bus, we're ready to attack. Welcome back to the Wednesday Sports Report. It is now time for the Athlete of the Week. Let's send it to Spencer Lachalet. And welcome to Tiger TV's Athlete of the Week, where I'll be sitting down with student athletes throughout LSU and getting to know them a little bit better. This week, I'm sitting with Haley Smith, defensive specialist for LSU's volleyball team. Thank you for sitting with me, Haley. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So, like, mostly, I just want to get to like start off, like, get to know you. Okay. Like I said before, my name yeah. is Haley Smith. I'm from Shawmet, Louisiana, um, small town, St. Bernard Parish, mm -hmm. uh, right outside of New Orleans. So it's south of New Orleans. Cool. So. Yeah. Um, after the storm, we we actually were hit by Hurricane Katrina and really, really impacted. Yes, it really impacted St. Bernard Parish. But we're still in the rebirth stage, the mm -hmm. regrowth. It's been 10 years since, and we have a lot of local businesses that came back. Also. A lot of big businesses, I mean like Walmart, um, yeah. racetrack, things like that. So it's slowly but steadily coming back and that's where I want to go after I graduate. Describe like your first year here at LSU. First year, wow, okay. I know that, that was a, that's a little yeah. ways. Yeah, four and a half years ago. Yeah. Um, okay, so my first year here at LSU, uh, in the fall I was actually a normal student. So I wasn't able to try out until the spring. 
they didn't have a spot in the fall. So I was given that opportunity. I was like, okay, great. I'm going to take it. I want to play with the best, you know. Mm -hmm. So in the fall, I'm a normal student. I go to some of the football games, all that kind of stuff, and get that kind of atmosphere, that student atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Well, I walk on the team in the spring, long story short, and it was just it completely changed my perspective about LSU, about LSU athletics, everything. It right. completely changed my perspective. So I was, I was late in the recruiting process, so I decided I wanted to play volleyball in my senior year of high school, which mm -hmm. that's completely late. Everybody that watches this is probably going to laugh at that because you usually get uh, recruited probably a freshman, sophomore year in high school now, mm -hmm. so it's that early. But um, so my senior year I decided, and I wrote letters to the coaches, sent some tapes or whatever, and I, I don't really know if they actually got it or anything mm -hmm. like that. I, I'm sure they did, but I know it took a lot of other people from Louisiana, like the referees and a lot of club coaches and a lot of high school coaches to actually get the word to Fran. I know, I know that's definitely was a big part of how I actually got a chance to even try out. So I, I definitely want to thank those people so much. I can't say specifically because I've just heard rumors, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, they were definitely a big help with that. What is like your favorite food? Um, Maybe like during the season and then in your off season. <laughs> like what's your cheap food? Okay, my favorite food, obviously during crawfish season, it's crawfish and boiled potatoes. I mean, you can't go obviously. wrong with that, right? Um, but during season, I think my favorite meal is either like Texas Roadhouse or Outback. I love so steak. Like anything at Texas Roadhouse? I love, I love steak. Steak, medium well. Medium well, got a little bit of well, pink in there. Medium well? Yeah. You get medium well. Yeah. That's almost like ruin. That's like right there. Yeah. Well, that's what I like. So. <laughs> okay. Well, that's what you like. That's what you like. Do you do you play in like video games? Any fun facts about you? So yeah. You actually, since I was a kid, okay, I started with a PlayStation Two. That's like real throwback. But um, I have an Xbox One now. Oh. So I, of course I have like oh. the ma like Madden, any kind of sports games. FIFA. I'm a sports fiend. I like on my off time I, I like to Xbox watch. Xbox One though. Yeah. I got the PS4. Mm. We could have been friends. No, nope, I wanted Xbox One. I can talk one. to my Xbox. You can't even talk to your PS4. Yes, I can. You get the you get the camera. You can talk to it. Well, you gotta get Plus, the camera I though. Got, Mine came with it. Yeah, but oh. that doesn't mean anything. So like, what does what does the sport mean to you? Like volleyball as a, as a whole. Um, I think LSU as a whole is is. It's, it's undescribable, actually, just because growing up here in Louisiana, I mean, LSU is everything. Everybody's LSU fans. You know, you grow up being an LSU fan and um, just supporting it as you grow up. So when you do get here, everybody that I know, my family, friends, and a lot of people know LSU and are familiar with LSU yeah. athletics. So um, it's, it's a very proud feeling, and it's, mm -hmm. it's definitely very humbling, too, getting out here with the best athletes, you know, in the nation, in the world. For sure. So it's it's definitely a undescribable feeling. Like, what is it? What does it mean to you, at, like, to be an LSU athlete? What is it? What does it personally feel like? I mean, some days I, I really can't believe it because mm -hmm. I, I do, because I'm I'm surrounded with the best athletes in the world. Like I said, it's so I do get out here and it's very humbling, and I I can't. I don't even know what to say. I'm just speechless, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's sure. definitely speechless out here. And every day, just the work ethic that I surround myself with and the people that I surround me with and show me things. And I get to show the um, the younger generations and how what LSU is about and what our program stands for, and not just volleyball, just the whole. When we return, we'll show you the new viral Auburn fan eating an LSU pennant. How crazy is that? Only in Auburn. Come on back. Welcome back, everyone. Now, here at the Wednesday Sports Report, we like to show what the internet has to offer, and really, the internet never lets us down. So check out this clip of an Auburn fan eating an LSU pennant. LSU. Wow. I mean, how do you explain that? My, my face says it all, man. <laughs> I've heard of some weird things during Rivalry Week and stuff, but about the germs? I don't think I've ever had someone eat a pen. In fact, the fabric, nothing about that seems good. Think about the germs, man. Like, you can go to the doctor after that? The dust that had to have been on the wall. Why, why does an Auburn fan have the pennant? There's a lot of questions here. 